So here's the treasure chest that I modeled the other day. And what I've done is I've given some materials to the parts. I've got chest trim, and that's going to be for all of these pieces. All right, they're going to be wood. All right, this part here is a special uh, part here that I've called chest round because uh, it's going to be wood, but I'm going to draw some, some lines on this in Substance Painter to uh, simulate the, the wood planks. And I also have um, just metal. Okay, so all these bolts and these pieces are going to be metal. This is going to be wood. I've gone ahead and I've UV unwrapped that, and uh, I won't I won't get into that in this video. We'll just uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll texture this thing. All right, so I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to export this, and I'm going to call this treasure chest. I'm going to choose selected objects, although that's the only thing there, and just the mesh. And I can leave everything else the same and export it. Over in Substance Painter, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to make it 2K, and I'm going to select that treasure chest and click Open. So here's my treasure chest. All right, you can see that it's brought in those um, texture sets. Metal, round, and trim. Okay, it's time now to bake the mesh maps. I'm gonna go for 2K. I'm gonna leave everything else the same. All right, the maps are baked. Come on my texture sets. I'm gonna start with the chest trim. In the layers panel, I'm gonna delete the default metal. And under materials, I'm gonna search for a wood. And I've got this one, uh, which is uh, weapon wood that I got from Substance Share, and I think it's going to look great on this. So I'm going to drag that into my layer stack, and that's going to apply that there. Uh, this material already looks uh, a little grungy, and so I'm pretty happy with that. So I think I'm probably okay. It looks a little weird here, but in the scene, it's probably going to be fine. All right, I'm going to come over to chest round. I'm going to drag the same material in there. And I've got that there. The grain is going this way. Uh, I set that up in the UVs when I uh, UV unwrapped this. It was a nice straight piece. And I just rotated it 90 degrees so I could have it going this way. And that's going to be fine. As you can see, there's already some dirt and stuff in there. So I'm not going to have to do really anything uh, else to this. Uh, you'll see though in a second and for for that I'm going to try this steel and I'll come in here and I might try uh, to switch this to triplanar I'm hoping that's going to look all right for my purposes let's just click off there okay all right anyhow the main thing I wanted to show you was just creating the planks so I'm going to come back here, uh, chest round, uh, let's go to the 2D and the 3D view. I'm going to pull this down, and there is my piece there, just isolated. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm just going to drag this into it and create a paint layer. So I'm going to paint on here. Um, down here in the properties, I'm going to paint uh, I'm going to click uh, Alt and click on there. I want color and then I'm going to click on height. Just I want color and height. I'm going to change the base color down to a pretty much black color. And the height I'm going to lower down. Now, you know, down to there. We'll try that. I'm going to set my brush size to 1 and zoom in here. And you can see these three sort of black areas here. That's that's this, so we can watch over here as we do this. Okay, click Shift and Control. Come down, and we'll get a line. And I'm just going to repeat, click Shift and Control. These don't have to be the same uh, width. It's kind of good if they're not. And you can see the lines taking shape there a 
click shift control and drag Maximize this. All right, and just to have a better look, I'll turn on the uh, anti aliasing. And that's really what I needed to do uh, for this treasure chest. Uh, along with all of the other items. Um, I was toying with the idea, I will say this, let's turn that off. I'll just tell you. I was toying with the idea of, let's close that up, let's add a fill layer and a black mask. with this moss. I don't know if I would do this, but. Just to give like a radioactive kind of a look here and like bump that up so it looks like that. And then maybe I could, um, Copy that layer. No, no. Uh, yeah. Well. Anyhow, uh, that's the chest, and then I'll just move it into the scene. And I think the next thing we'll do is I will do the uh, the wall, and maybe some floor, and we'll see how everything is starting to come together. So we'll see you in the next video.